Hello everyone. This is Michelle with Michelle Crochets in Kansas. I hope you're all doing well today. This is the reading Daily Strength for Overcoming Depression and Anxiety. This is the devotional I'm going to read to you today. I went to January 31st because that is today's date. It has a title called One Thing. I have not achieved it, but I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. That is Philippians chapter 3, verse 13 in the New Living Translation. I have other translations I would like to read to you regarding that verse. I don't know if I'm going to read this to you first. This is what it says about this verse. We have not reached the end of our hope. As long as we draw breath into our lungs, our story is not finished. When we get caught up in the shame of our past, and can't see a way to move forward, we may struggle to believe that God's redemptive power can make our futures better. But that is simply not the truth. When you, when, what is your focus right now? Is it to be amazing at your job or to focus on being present with your family? Is it to get a degree? Maybe it's something much smaller. These are all great pursuits, though they are limited in their scope. With God as your main goal, knowing that his kingdom will come and his will be done on earth as it is in heaven, your hopes will be fulfilled. Here is our response in, to this. Jesus, you are the one that I am running after in this life. Even as I run, I realize that through your presence in the Spirit, you are with me. I look to you for everything I need. I'm desperate for you to turn around what I have made a mess of. Come, do what only you can do. And Heavenly Father, I ask it in the name of your precious Son, Jesus. Amen. Now, for all of my returning subscribers, thank you for returning. For my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. And for those who this is their first time seeing my channel, Thank you, and I hope you enjoy it here. I do these devotionals for daily strength at 5 p.m. every uh, central time every day. I also do a morning devotional at 6.30, if live if I can. Otherwise, it's recorded. It's Jesus Calling. And I also do a weekly Bible study on Wednesdays, and we are studying Psalm 119 right now. And I also do a reset. Of, it is a short book on 20 ways to a consistent prayer life. There are only 20, and we're on day 14. And that's at 2 p.m. Central Time. Thank you all for being here. I thank you also. I would appreciate you uh, subscribing, liking, sharing me out, especially to those who you think would benefit from these devotionals. This is all for God's glory. My channel is for God's glory. I also do crochet chats 
uh, live when I can. I also do book and magazine reviews and some tutorials. And I would enjoy having more friends in my YouTube family. I call those who come to my lives in the morning, my live devotional and prayer, because we pray also for everyone. I call them all my prayer warriors, and I would like to have more prayer warriors praying with us for the needs of our YouTube community. Thank you so much to all of you. You are such a blessing to me. This has been wonderful. I'm going to get that Philippians 3.13 in the Amplified Bible. I got this Bible because of the colorful, more descriptive language in here. Philippians. Chapter 3, verse 13. I'm trying to find it. I think I gotta go over another page. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider that I have made it my own yet, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and reaching forward to what lies ahead. That is what we need to do. We need to forget what is behind and reach forward to what lies ahead. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for that verse. I thank you for your word. I thank you for the whole Bible, which gives us instructions on daily living to be the best versions of ourselves that we can be living according to your will, Heavenly Father, for us. Because you give us the strength to do so. I give you the glory, Heavenly Father. For everything that you do for us. For my life. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for how far you've brought me. I thank you, Father, for what you're doing in my life right now. And the lives of my Friends and relatives, Heavenly Father, and I consider you too, my friends, all of you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of my family. I ask you, Lord, to be with each and every one of them in Jesus' name. God, bless them as only you can do. Let them feel your presence, Heavenly Father. I ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for being here. I hope to see you in my future devotionals. Please leave me a comment in the description box or in the comment section down below. Let me know what this all means to you. The one thing we're pressing in to the one thing, which is forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead with Jesus on, in our hearts. I thank you, Heavenly Father. God, be with each and every one of us. I ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. May God bless you all mightily, richly. Bye for now.